All right, in this video, I'm going to go over the lab work for astronomy. So if you found that there's four pieces of paper attached to the assignment, you've got a declination graph, you've got a right ascension graph, you've got a list of data, and you've got a star chart. The star chart is where you will report your final conclusion. The goal of this lab is to locate the position of the central black hole in our Milky Way galaxy. Its name is Sagittarius A star. It's a supermassive black hole that has 4 million suns worth of mass. On the star chart, we can see that this is 12 hours of right ascension. So there's two coordinates that we use in astronomy to locate objects. Right ascension is how far left or right we point the telescope, and declination is how far up or down. And so if I point my telescope a certain um, coordinate right and a certain coordinate up, I can locate where that is in the night sky. So this is 12 hours, and then it counts down 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, down to 0 over here. 12 increases to 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 17 hours of right ascension there, all the way up to 24 hours. The goal is to plot all of the right ascensions for these objects, which these objects are objects that orbit the center of the Milky Way. So if we plot their position, and we average their position, the average position is going to be where the center of the Milky Way is. So this is what a right ascension graph looks like, and it goes from 0 to 24. They've only listed every third hour, so it's just 0 hours. I think it's helpful to sort of sketch in 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours of right ascension, 4, 5, 6, is labeled for you, seven, eight, you add in, there's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then 24, you're back to zero again. So around planet Earth, there's 360 degrees of right ascension where we can locate sort of any object left or right in the night sky. How do you plot an object like 47 Tucani which has a right ascension of zero hours and 22 minutes. So zero hours is here. 22 minutes is a, is a fraction of an hour, right? And so 30 minutes would be exactly halfway. So 22 minutes is sort of like a little bit less than halfway. Let your eyes adjust. There they go. So 22 minutes would be about here. The first point is actually plotted for you. And so 4.6 kiloparsecs, we count out every concentric circle on this is one kiloparsec. And so 4.6 would go one, two, three, four, and then a little bit more than halfway. And so this is the position of an object that has a right ascension of zero hours, 22 minutes, and it's 4.6 kiloparsecs away from the center. So this graph, right ascension graph, is just for the right ascension data. All you're plotting is this first column on this piece. Once you finish that, you plot the declination coordinates on your declination graph. And so th these letters D, E, C represent declination. Okay. To locate the object 47 Tucani, you would go over 0 hours, 22 minutes, and go down 72 degrees, two arc minutes, and then you'd be pointing your telescope towards this object. And so it's, it's just a two-dimensional set of coordinates to locate objects on what's called the celestial sphere. These are coordinates like latitude and longitude here on Earth. We just take that and project that sphere out to infinity, and those coordinates move along with the objects as the Earth sort of rotates and moves uh, in its orbit. Let's look at another example for right ascension. So the, the object M92 has a right ascension of 17 hours, 16 minutes, and it's 7.8 kiloparsecs away. So if this is 15 hours, this would be 16 hours, this would be 17 hours. So it's a little bit past that, 17 hours and 16 minutes. And it's located 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7.8. And so not quite out here to the eighth one, 
um, but just past 17 hours. And so M92 would be about there. So that's how you go about plotting the right ascension. Join us next time for the declinations.